Hello there, my name is Ntoye Muilwa. I am a PhD student uh, at the Department of Biological and Environmental Sciences. I am a botanist. I love working with plants and my PhD focuses on understanding the evolutionary histories of plants, how plants evolve and linking that to uh, how different ethnic groups actually utilize plants. And today I'm here at the Gothenburg Botanical Gardens at the Herb Garden. Welcome to the Herb Garden. And one of the topics that I love talking about is medicinal plants. And most medicinal plants are normally um, herbaceous in nature, meaning that they are herbs. So I'm going to take you today on a tour to talk about a couple of um, herb, herbs that are used both medicinally and for gardening purposes, landscaping, and also for culinary purposes. So I invite you to have this tour with me. So the first herb here that we have today, it's uh, a, a plant, a species that belongs to the sunflower family, Asteraceae, and then this one belongs to the genus um, Artemisia. Uh, it's called Artemisia Pontica in the Latin name, but the English name of it is um, the Roman wormwood. So this plant, um, it's quite interesting in that it's it has quite several uses due to this spectacle of um, chemical suits that it possesses. For example, it's used um, for culinary purposes um, as a flav flavorant on wines and liqueurs and then it's because it has this chemical this bitter chemical that sort of gives a very different flavor to wines and liqueurs but on top of that it's also used to help with digestive um, issues because of the bitter taste of it it enhances the stomach to actually produce some chemicals which enhance with digestion so it helps quite a lot with digestion and it has um, quite a camphory flavor. It's a, it's a variety that, that is actually known to have high levels of camphor in it. And so it's called the camphor plant in other names. And it has actually been used, the essential oils are used for the generation of um, things like camphor and, 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 the, and the likes. And this plant also though, it contains another toxic substance at a, at a particular stage in its life it has a very toxic substance which is which can mildly affect people who use it the use of this plant medicinally it depends on the knowledge of when to use it and when not to use it for example and having said that i'm from south africa this plant looks very much similar like artemisia afra which is known as the african woodworm which we use primarily different ethnic groups used uh, Artemisia afra for various purposes mainly to to help with medicinal problems if you have a cold or if you have very high fevers you can use the plant to actually help with your your mucus and so i find it interesting that we have a variety here of something that looks quite similar to a species in africa and it makes me wonder how cultures actually, cultures of different ethnic groups actually sort of borrow from one another in terms of using these very closely related plants. 